These days, every product has a barcode that contains basic information about the product. Thanks to barcodes, store owners can keep track of their inventory, and shoppers can check out much faster than before. However, despite their many advantages, barcodes must be read one at a time, and the information they contain is fixed. What if those barcodes were replaced by chips that could not only be read more quickly, but could have their information updated as well? And what if those chips could communicate with other devices? These chips already exist, and the technology they use is called RFID, short for Radio Frequency Identification. While RFID tags contain a small microchip and a transmitter, they can only be activated by an RFID reader, to which the tag returns its signal. That's why RFID is called a passive technology. Imagine that you buy a carton of milk in a supermarket. The carton's RFID tag has stored the price and the milk's expiry date. When you pick up the carton, the shelf can immediately display the carton's expiry date. When you're finished your shopping, a reader near the exit could read the tags of all your products as you pass by and immediately generate a bill for your approval. No more standing in line. Back home, a smart refrigerator equipped with an RFID reader could keep track of the expiry date of all your groceries. And if you also have a smart rubbish bin, the bin and the refrigerator could even make a new shopping list for you. This may sound futuristic, but RFID tags are already used in exactly this way in transport and logistics. RFID tags are already being built into motorway toll pass cards and subway passes. RFID tags facilitate the handling and tracking of luggage and freight. Retailers are also integrating RFID tags and readers into their stores. With the price of RFID chips and readers dropping steadily, other sectors are discovering their uses. In fact, several European research projects are working together with large companies from other sectors to find clever ways of cutting costs and boosting efficiency with RFIDs. Ironically, one of the oldest uses of this technology is in agriculture, where RFID tags are used to keep track of livestock. Now that these tags can be reduced to the size of a rice pellet, they are already being implanted into pets to help track and recover them. Other possible new applications of RFID are in medicine. For example, an RFID tag built into an armband could contain a unique identifier for a patient. Doctors can read the tag and immediately access the patient's medical history and link it to databases of diseases and medication side effects. This could greatly speed up diagnosis and treatment. RFIDs can be integrated into almost any everyday object, from fridges to bus passes. The fact that these devices can be read, updated and tracked has raised privacy concerns. The European Union is therefore developing a legislation to ensure that the use of RFID never compromises basic human rights and the individual's right to privacy. More and more devices and applications are becoming interconnected and among them RFID is rapidly becoming a key technology.